Today I have a bunch of new pin releases from Artland to share with you guys. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ryan from Disney Pins Blog, and you can probably tell from the title of this video, we have a bunch of new pin releases from Artland. Artland is relatively new in the Disney pin space. They are very similar to Acme Archive pins, if you guys are familiar with those in the past. Same artist, same Disney license, and I covered a few on the website and here on YouTube in the past, one of their first release. They started out with the Tinkerbell and the Aladdin pins, and then those four really popular Disney villain pins came out. Um, so today we have a bunch of new ones from Artlin. I want to share them with you guys. You might have already seen them. They're already up on DisneyPinsBook.com and they are available at DPBStore.com. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these, head over to the store. You can find them there. While supplies last, I do have a uh, small quantity of these pins. I'm going to take you through a closer look at all of them, but uh, real quick, we do have a new one here from the LE250 series. This one's called Peek-a-Poo. Then we have a brand new one in a limited edition of 100 series. This is my favorite one here. LE100. It's called The First Meeting featuring Mickey and Minnie. Super cool pin. And then they have brand new LE200 cutout pins. These are very similar to the Hot Art Lanyard trading pins, if you guys remember those. They're a limited edition 200 series. There was a bunch of waves of them, uh, four in a wave. This is part of that series, so um, just uh, produced by Artland now. And um, yeah, there's a few new ones here from Alice in Wonderland and Aristocats and Tangled, so I'll show you those. And then lastly, we have this LE500 Disney exclusive series. Uh, these are distributed by Artland as well. They are officially licensed Disney pins, like all these are Disney pins. Uh, but yeah, these ones are cool as well. We have Wally, uh, Mickey, and Cheshire Cat. Limited edition 500, these are like soft enamel pins though. Um, but still pretty nice for the collection. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of them now. Okay, first up we have the latest in the LE200 pin series. And this one is called Peek a Pooh. Of course, featuring Winnie the Pooh. We have Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore on there as well. Beautiful design and very colorful. It has a gold tone finish, which you can see around the outside of the pin there. It's about three inches in diameter. Comes on the Artland Disney uh, collectible trading pin backer card. And uh, it was also acts as the certificate of authenticity. You can see here on the back, it is limited edition of 250. It has three pin posts. I'll take it off real quick so you can see the uh, back of the pin. There we go, officially licensed pin from Artland. Has the uh, Winnie the Pooh disclaimer there. And Disney, all rights reserved, limited edition. With those gold bars, just like the Acme pins. Next up, we have this gorgeous Steamboat Willie pin. This is actually my favorite one out of all of the Artland releases today. And this is called The First Meeting, featuring Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse meeting there on the boat. And uh, as you can see here on the side, Mickey and Minnie are a pin-on-pin -pin element. So they do pop out a bit. Very thick pin. I just like the colors they use there on the background for the boat and the ocean, and it makes the uh, characters really pop. So this one is a limited edition of 100. It is the first one in the LE100 pin series. They have two others that are out. One is the uh, Piano Mickey, and the other one's called Girls' Day Out. Um, I don't have those to review today, but I might get them in the future um, for DPB Store. And uh, taking a look at the back here, you can see the uh, certificate of authenticity on this pin they are actually uniquely numbered. So I have 10 out of 100 here for this collection. And we have three pin posts on the back. And looking at the back of this pin, you can see it has like a uh, gunmetal finish to it. And the officially licensed pin from Artland stamped with Disney and limited edition. Okay, so next up here are the new LE200 cutout pins. Uh, like I said before, these are very similar to those Hot Art Lanyard trading pins that came out. These are the first ones though from Artland. And uh, there are a couple others, I believe. Actually, I'm missing one more. It's uh, going to be coming in, though, and it's Mad Hatter. But for right now, we have this Snow White pin with Grumpy. Next, we have this Cheshire Cat pin. And then we have March Hare, Pascal with the crown there from Tangled, and Marie from the Aristocats. Flipping it over in the back, it does say the edition size below the Mickey pin back there. Um, I'm not going to take this without the plastic, but they are limited edition of 200. So there's the first five in the uh, Artland LE200 pin series. Like I said, I am missing one more, but it's on its way, featuring Mad Hatter. And then lastly, we have the new Disney exclusive Artland pins. 
These are the limited edition of 500 enamel pins. They're like a soft enamel, similar to a box launch Hot Topic pins. But up top here we have Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse. Um, they're just small circular pins. It's nice they are limited edition of 500, um, but since these ones are uh, pretty simple in design, just with uh, soft enamel paint, um, they are a little less expensive than the cutouts and, of course, the uh, three-inch diameter pins. But there's a look at the back. Here we have Mickey Mouse. I like the cut the red background on that one. It makes his face really pop. I also love this Wally pin here. That's a nice one for the Wally collectors out there. And then finally, we have this Cheshire Cat pin. So those are the first four releases in this new LE500 Disney exclusive Artland pin series. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed a look at those new pin releases from Artland. I'll leave a link below to the category page at Disney Pins Blog where you can find all of the Artland Disney pin releases as well as dpbstore.com if you'd like to purchase any. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.